Lozean jumps it first from Wayward Lad and Tuckroy. Michael Dickinson was runners at three meetings today. He's at air, televiewing no doubt. He's represented by his father, Tony Dickinson, down here. And this is the water jump, which Leslie Ann jumps in front from Wayward Lad, who's held under admirable restraint by Robert Earnshaw. In fact, he's settled nicely as they come to the first ditch. Leslie Ann, headed there by Wayward Lad, who's jumped into the lead, and Tacroy is third. Leslie Ann, the one runner in the race, assured of staying the trip. And the two leaders jump that together with Tacroy just two or three lengths back in third place. And Tacroy running over a longer distance than he's run before. Three miles was the furthest he'd been, but he was always prominent in that race, could have been further back. That was the second ditch, and all of them jumped it well. And all three horses are potential Gold Cup horses, and in particular, Wayward Lad is on trial today. So they jumped the seventh there, and they all jump it well, with the sad news that his stable companion, Silver Buck, is now ruled out for the season by Michael Dickinson. So, as they run down the hill for the first time, it's Leslie Ann and Wayward Lad disputing it, just three lengths ahead of Tacroy, and so far, none of the cards have been played. The eighth downhill fence, and they fly that, and the Wayward Lad nods, but Robert Earnshaw picks him up, and there's no anxious moment at all. Robert Earnshaw has ridden 11 winners this season, 50 winners in all, and really coming of age this season. This is the ninth, and they're quickening up nicely into it. Leslie Ann over, Wayward Lad and Tacroy. Coming down after just about a mile of the race, and so far, nothing of any great significance. All three jockeys with their hands full, and I wonder how does Richard Pittman see the race so far? Well, Julian, it's, uh, as you say, they're playing cat and mouse. Uh, the mare is going very sweetly. Look at her there with her ears pricked in front. Leslie Ann, Colin Brown sitting nicely. It isn't really a true test of stamina. They've been jumping particularly well. Very quick there, wayward lad. He got a length and a half there from the mare. And Tackroy full of running in behind. Peter Scudamore bobbing up and down there as he's trying to restrain him. He doesn't really want to go on yet. Coming to the one in front of the stands will be the last next time. And a good jump again by all three. Robert Earnshaw already forced to go in the front. But it's really nothing better than uh, a half-speed pace. So I'm not sure the merit of the eventual outcome. Of course, the leader, Wayward Lad, will be reverting back to two and a half miles when we go to Ascot for the final of the Lambert and Buckler. So he'll, uh, he won't know whether he's coming or going. Although this really will be less than a three-mile one race today if they stay at this pace. So, with just under a circuit to go, Wayward Lad by just about a length from Leslie Ann in second, Tacroy third, and this is the 12th fence. And Tacroy just nodded at it a little bit, and Wayward Lad jumped it a little bit low, but uh, was in no danger. As they come to the water for the second time, the 13th, Wayward Lad, Leslie Ann, and Tacroy, these three, and all over it, as Wayward Lad leads into the third of the four ditches. Jumps it well, Leslie Ann jumped it very big. Tacroy didn't jump it as well as he's jumped some of them. As they jump the 15th fence, it's the one before the last ditch, and a mistake there by Wayward Lad. He hit that quite hard, but he never looked like falling. Wayward Lad by a length from Leslie Ann and Tacroy just three lengths away third, but close enough as they come to the last ditch. Wayward Lad, and he jumps that all right. Leslie Ann's in second, Tacroy third. Still, any one of the three could win. Leslie Ann's got the stamina. The other two have got the turn of foot. This is the fifth last, and Wayward Lad's the best jumper there. Leslie Ann just a little bit awkward at it, and the lead is now three lengths for Wayward Lad as they start running down the hill. And Leslie Ann just getting a little bit closer as they run down with four fences left to jump. Wayward Lad, Leslie Ann, Tacroy still close enough. This is the fourth last. And Leslie Ann just plunged into that one but got away with it and the two leaders are still close. 
Leslie Ann on the inside, Wayward Lad on the outside, looks to be still full of running. Tackroy just being nudged along now by Peter Scudamore as they come down to the third last. Another slight downhill fence. Wayward Lad good over it from Leslie Ann in second. Tackroy coming under pressure now, and he's struggling as they come down towards the elbow. And it's Wayward Lad. Robert Earnshaw looks over his left shoulder and sees Colin Brown very close on his inside and Leslie Ann. These two almost neck and neck. And Robert Earnshaw goes for his whip now as they come round the elbow and Leslie Ann storms into the lead from Wayward Lad who looks to be struggling now. Tuckroy's back in third with two fences left to jump. And it's Leslie Ann who's looking strongest. But Wayward Lad's coming back at him, but Leslie Ann's clear into this. Over it, jumps it brilliantly. Wayward Lad over in second. Tuckroy's tired in third place. And Leslie Leslie-Anne just being rousted along now by Colin Brown into the last. But she's gone four, five, six lengths clear and has only got to jump this. Leslie-Anne over it, measures it right. Over well clear of Wayward Lad, who's a tired horse now. Running on into second place is Tackroy. But it's Leslie-Anne, this great mare, the winner of the Sun Alliance chase here at the big meeting, galloping up the hill and she won't be caught. Wayward Lad's a very, very tired horse indeed. And Robert Earnshaw's almost pulled him up at the line. Leslie Ann, a comfortable winner, applauded by the crowd. Tackroy runs on to be second. Wayward Lad is coming home in his own time third. A tired horse certainly didn't look to get the trip today. And so the result of the tote double steeplechase, a win for number one, Leslie Ann.